I felt abandoned so much of like my life. And then in that moment, when, when Lenny and I, when I discovered these messages and I confronted him, he told me he didn't love me. This was eight years ago and mm. I fell to the floor. Oh my it was God. one of the hardest things no. that I've, I've ever heard oh. because this man is my life. Oh my you know, God, I, sure. I don't really have a relationship with my family. He is my family. He was my everything. I did not have kids with him at that point. Mm. We were working on the kids and it wasn't happening. That was really, you know, really That's difficult so for me and for him to look yeah. me in the eye and tell me he doesn't love me was one of the hardest things for me. I went in such a deep depression. I was in my room. Like, it, it, honestly, we were only separated for probably a month and a half, so it wasn't that long because he came to his senses, obviously. But I was in such a deep depression um, because I felt so alone. I wanted, I felt like my world was crumbling. I wanted to have children with this man. Mm. And to hear these words, I felt so unloved. I didn't feel like I had anybody. I had Leah Black, actually. She was... Oh, God. No, she was. She was one of the people that was there for me that you I could want call. That. No, but she was there for me. Right. Anytime yeah, I needed to call. Of course, that's fine, yeah. She was the, one of the people that gave me advice, amazing advice, that really helped me and would have helped me if we were to get a divorce. <laughs> right. she you called the right person. Right. Yeah. She's the right person. She was red. Um, you. But, you know, thank God we came back together and thank God we have been working on our, our relationship. Lenny's tough. He's yeah. Russian. Yeah. yeah. You know how they can we be. Had so Russian that's, little, little, little so that's how you found out he was having an emotional affair by going in his um, email or DM? I wouldn't call it that again. Just, it, it's not about the person. It's, it was about us and our and trust. relationship. And it just let the person happen to be at the right place at the right time. It's not so even then about the So what do you person. mean by the term emotional affair? It's just a term I used to describe what was happening. It wasn't, what was happening? Um, he was talking to somebody after we decided we were going to separate. Oh, you went that far? Yeah, he told me, it's over, I want a divorce. This is it, you're not taking this seriously. I was super stressed out because we weren't having a child. I was so done with all of this IVF and him, he was a little, he was a little insensitive also. You I'm know, sure when, super hormonal. When it wasn't happening, yeah. super hormonal. Yeah. Um, I was stressed out and I didn't want the to try again. I needed crazy. a break I from all of the yeah. trying yeah. and the IVF so and the hard. disappointment. And I was probably like self-soothing with alcohol, going out with my friends, yeah. staying out late, whatever. The term emotional affair generated quite a few reactions mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, Aaron Lichen posted, Lisa, be honest, was it just an emotional affair? Bill in LA said, emotional affair, my ass, call it what it was, cheating. Yes, it, um, it, there, there was no sex involved. There was no... Like, Ari, did but, you have this conversation I know, with him? I know this because I saw every text message Was the intention down, there? And I don't want to give this right. too much energy Oxygen. and life, okay? okay? Yeah. But just know that I know 100% that, at least with them, who knows, maybe there's others that I don't know about, but with oh, them, God. there was no intimacy. Okay. Gertie, what did you think when you saw those scenes? It was it was really hard to watch. It was cringing to be honest. And yeah, you know, it was cringy. You, you can't take me. away the faces that he makes and it's kind of like, you know, so for me it's kind of like, you know, you have to face the fact that you have to work on your relationship and we all do, but you know, I just know that you know you're a good catch. You know you're worthy of anything and everything you have and it's just kind of like let make sure that he knows that too. And he, I know he does, he but does? it's kind of like he does, yeah. he is an amazing man. He takes such amazing care of me, his family, but he now sees right. what I've been telling him because. for years, that you have to pay more attention yeah. to me. You can't be rolling your eyes on your on your cell phone all the time. Cause it just, lo it looks bad. It looks like he, he is checked out. Mm. Like me looking at it, he looks like he's not in love with me, but he is. Does he finally say I love you, Lisa? Yeah, he does. Good. What's not to love?